Hi, this is Sinead from Redfly Marketing. Welcome to the Redfly AdWords Tutorials Advanced Series, Part 4, How to Eliminate Unproductive Traffic. In this video, we will discuss how to increase your return on investment and lower costs using the various AdWords targeting options, and various other tips too. So why would we want to make our ads highly targeted, rather than showing them to as many people as possible? Limiting who sees your ad can increase your return on investment. Because you can increase your return on investment when the traffic you send to your landing pages is highly targeted. You can lower your campaign costs by getting rid of the internet users less likely to convert. We suggest the six following ways to eliminate unproductive traffic. Use keyword matching. Use geotargeting. Use language options. Use or do not use the display network. Use conversion and keyword tracking and write the price in your ad. Use keyword matching options to determine which Google searches can trigger your ads to appear. Do not use the default option broad match. Do combine broad match keywords with negative match keywords. Use negative keywords. A negative keyword is a word or phrase that you don't want your ad to be found with. By using negative keywords, you can avoid targeting the wrong users by stopping your ad from appearing on those searches. There is no limit to how many negatives you can define, and whenever you include another good negative keyword in your list, you lower your costs. Use geotargeting, also known as location targeting, which lets you target your ads to specific locations. Define your target geographically. You have the option to choose the places you want your ads to be shown, but don't put your budget at risk. Target exactly where your potential customers are. For example, it's a waste of money to target locations you do not ship to. Use the language options. It helps to choose the language both you and your customers speak. The language you choose for each campaign should also be the language in which your ads are written. Google will not translate your ads for you, but will show your ads to users whose Google interface language matches the language that your campaign targets. Use or do not use the display network. By default, AdWords uses both a search network and a display network. On the display network, your ads have the potential to increase the relevance of the content where they are displayed, so you get targeted exposure. But people who click on ads on the display network are not really motivated with an urge to buy. In order to decide whether or not to use the display network, you should of course test it Figure out if it works for you or not. Do this by running separate campaigns, one for the display network and one for the search network. Then use conversion tracking to help you measure conversions. Use conversion and keyword tracking. Figure out what works and what doesn't work by going through the process of the three T's. Testing, tracking and tweaking. Perform tests on your ads, keywords and landing pages on a continuous basis. Track results for each test and learn from the results. Learn how to track your conversions and then do the tweaking. Our final tip for lowering costs and increasing conversions might seem obvious, but you would be surprised how many advertisers leave this one out. Write the price in your ad. Price is usually the most important buying decision. Create ads that quote the price. People that are willing to pay the price will click on the ad and users that aren't willing to pay won't click on the ad. After watching this video, you should be ready to move on to part five of the Redfly AdWords Tutorials Advanced Series, how to get more traffic from AdWords, where we cover how to increase your traffic volume, but at no risk to your budget. Thanks for watching.